Hey guys, I don't know if you can see me, but the sun is really strong, I'm not complaining. But I want something good to come out of Peace's death. And so I'm going to form a project. It's going to be called the Peace Pets Homeless Project. I'm going to use the song, I Wish You Peace, and you'll be able to purchase it in order to put money into this project. Because I don't want anyone who's got an animal and was evicted to ever go through this, this shock and the lack of support and the lack of compassion and the suffering and the pain that I had to go through just because I wanted to keep my animals safe. So come to me, let's do it together. Let's get the council and I Wickham to stand up and to offer accommodation to people who've been evicted with animals so they don't have to go through what I'm going through. I have to say goodbye to him today. I have to set him free. But he would not be dead if it wasn't for the cruelty and the lack of respect, support or compassion for anything, anything from the system or anyone in High Wycombe. No one did anything to help us. And I had serious PTSD and I was struggling every single day. And I won't let another human being go through this if I can do something. So from now on, I'm creating the Peace Pets Homeless Project. P-P-H-P. -P, the Peace Pets Homeless Project. Because I won't let Peace's death be in vain. I did everything possible to keep my animals safe. <laughs> I did everything possible to keep them with me. Because we have a right to have our animals. No one should be allowed to take your animals away from you. And I'm going to do everything possible to get the council and the homeless charities to do something useful, kind, compassionate. So no one has to go through the heartache. I feel empty, like I've got a hole in my heart from all of that stress and losing PC like that with him going blind. Because I had to load us into a car and drive out of the area because there was nothing and no one who would take us. Pet people are sleeping rough in High Wycombe on the streets with their dogs and their cats were with their dogs. Cats, you couldn't sleep rough with a cat. How could you do that? Dogs are easier. They could sleep, but a cat would die. This is not okay. When some landlord, a greedy landlord, decides to kick you out, even though the house is standing empty, there should be people and charities and groups that rally around and help you, especially if you've got serious PTSD and you're not functioning on your own, like me. I had to go all the way to Milton Keynes to an attic to be Bible bashed by some lunatic who called the police on us with peace did a poo in his attic. Well, peace, he was making a statement and we were the police. They called the police on us. You don't know what I've been through. At the moment, I am so angry. But from next week, I'm going to be, I will stand outside Wickham Council and Steve Baker. I will do whatever I have to do to get somewhere to help pet owners in High Wickham. You be as nasty as you want. I don't care. 
I have a job to do with moving on TV now and I will sell I Wish You Peace. The song I Wish You Peace will go towards his memory. Every penny I raise, I will go out there to try and help people not go through this hell that I'm going through now. <laughs> because it was the cruelty of High Wycombe that made him go blind. The cruelty of the stress that was put on me and my animals because of the lack of compassion of the council, Homeless Connection, Buck Free Press, who would not do a story to help us because they didn't think it was important enough to highlight the plight of pet owners in High Wycombe who are being evicted. There's going to be an epidemic of eviction soon. You're just going to have to do it. But I will be there. I will be there with this project, this community project. <laughs> Pieces Pets Homeless Project. The Pieces Pets Homeless Project in the name of my peace. <laughs> I don't want anybody to feel like I do today. I don't want you to have to lose your animals because you've got nowhere to live. <laughs> because the system is so corrupt and so disgusting. And they just may want to take your house and give it to a Ukrainian refugee. When you pay 20 years of council tax and they let you sleep in a car on the street. It needs to change. The priorities need to be about you. The whole Ukrainian thing is a farce. Look beyond it and you'll see it's a farce. It's got nothing to do with They don't give a shit about Ukrainian people. They don't give a shit about you and they don't give a shit about your animals. All they care about is their own greed. And this needs to change. I'm going to go now because I've got to go and set PC free. But it would never have happened. But everything happens for a reason. And if I'm meant to create a project to help pet owners, if I'm meant to create a project to stop people going through the hell that I've been through, then that's what I will do. I wish you peace. I will put it up digital. You can buy it now. You can buy it, I think, on Spotify. You can buy it. All the money will go towards helping people like me. It will be my job to do that, my honour to do that, to help pet owners, not just in High Wycombe, anywhere. If I can do it, I will do it, to create spaces. Like, why will the YMCA not house people with animals? If you're blind, are they going to take away your guide dog? This cannot go on. This will be part of moving on TV. I'll put it on Hope Glory Productions on the website. Well, I can't. Well, get someone to do that. It will be in the name of peace, my cat. And I will make sure that you have somewhere to turn to when I had nowhere except the Samaritans. No one except the Samaritans to turn to. You can contact Moving On TV 07437 532 798 and tell us your story. And I will do everything possible to interview you, to get you on there and to get the council and the homeless charities to stand up and say, yes, we will help pet owners. We will not let pet owners go through what Lauren went through and other people that are living outside the guild hall with their dogs because no one will put them in the YMCA or even a hostel. Cats, animals, you love your animals? Well, prove it, UK. You love your animals. Prove it. Prove it. Prove that you love your animals now and help. £1,300 to, to be in a bed and breakfast for one month in one room without cooking facilities with two cats. I put down rugs and I still had to pay to clean the place when it was completely clean because they're, they're clean animals. Animals are clean. Animals are clean. And we need to do something in High Wycombe to stop pet owners being treated the same way as I was. I will not let this go quietly. But I've got to go now and spread his ashes and say goodbye to him and free him.
and then I will do this project in his name. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please share everywhere.